I love what I do. I'm passionate about cattle. I strive to constantly improve these cattle. I mean, part of that's improving rangeland. We really do believe these cows need to exist on the forage that we can grow. And, you know, our wheelhouse is improving genetics and we focus on being the best in the world at Red Angus. But we're trying to raise them in a commercially oriented system that's sustainable. It needs to be profitable and it needs to leave some money on the table for all the people involved. My dad was always looking, I mean, I guess he was, some people call him a lunatic farmer, but he was always looking to improve things. Uh, he loved tinkering and making sure things were working better. And, and he had Hereford cows like most people did at the time. And he knew there was a better way. He found Red Angus and he bought some Red Angus bulls and really liked what he saw and the performance that heterosis gave him and kind of fell in love with the breed at that standpoint. Yeah, that was the beginning of, of Beaver at Angus. We had our first sale in 1976, our first bull sale. Uh, a lot of years it was a struggle. Uh, we bred a lot of performance cattle. Uh, we had the first two trait leaders for weaning and yearling, and then we also had one of the first bulls that was a trait leader for both birth weight and uh, yearling weight, which would have been one of the first curve benders ever. We really, at that point, focused on a journey that you know, breeding better Red Angus cattle. I know the work we're doing does good. It does not only good for us, it does good for our customers. I feel a real sense of accomplishment in what we do. We got a really good crew, and I think that it just shows they've been here a long time with us. Having Christian and Jake here on a full-time basis, it's been a wonderful thing to happen to us. After we were married and we kind of wanted to settle down and have a family, we decided to slow down a little bit and come back and um, be a part of a family operation, an operation that, um, you know, where we had a real say and could bring um, true value to something that was kind of bigger than ourselves. When I came up here for the first time, you could really feel the passion as soon as you walked onto the place, just about how, how much they care for the animals and also just going forward what they want to do and keep increasing the, the genetics and, and helping out the customers. You know, for the bigger customers that want to buy bulls from beavers, they can come in and they can buy one or two or five or a dozen full siblings and you've got a uniformity across a cow herd that throws some consistency and that's marketable. I really believe that we have a, a knowledge base that can help a lot of operation. And I'm more than willing to share or answer questions for people. The people you call are the people who, who take care of the cattle and, and, and run the business. We all have an idea of what's going on and can answer questions. We work pretty hard at making sure that people get what they're looking for. You know, it's not just you're buying a bull and that's it. It's not where the business stops. We want to help you down the road too and continue to help you just with your herd and give you ideas on how to market those calves. Um, that's something that I really enjoy doing. We want to make sure that you're getting the quality of the product that you came here for but also that we can help you in other ways. We sell identity testing and Peggy really spearheads that you know she works with our customers on making sure that they get their results back. She teaches them how to read the results things like that. You buy a bull, something happens, call Craig Bieber up, he takes care of it. They're awesome that way. If I don't have a problem, I got my own problem, call Craig up, he can help me solve my own problem. And that goes just beyond a, a customer supplier relationship. I view, you know, the, the people who help this ranch succeed as part of our family. Everybody brings different strengths and qualities to the operation. And I really think that makes us stronger because we listen to each other, we discuss things, and we all come up with ideas and kind of bounce it back and forth. My grandparents started this 60 years ago and we've withstood the test of time. You know, that's a lot of market ups and downs. That's a lot of changes in the industry. And the business is stronger now than it ever has been in the past. 
Jake and I are here, we're committed. We're um, committed to the future of the ranch and the legacy that uh, my grandparents and my parents have built. We're here every day and so are our kids. Um, learning about the life, learning about the business, and learning how to um, provide the best service that we can and the best product that we can to people for years to come.